Hello, my name is Igor Sandman. I'm a pixel artist. I make a pixel art piece every day. Uh, the topic of the day is zebra. Uh, it's not going to be easy because animals... <laughs> That's tough, man. Animals are really tough to draw. Uh, so I'm not sure, I'm not sure how it's going to, to turn out. Well, I'm sure it's, go it's going to be okay, but uh, I'm not sure I will be able to animate. I know I said I would try, but uh, the topic is not helping. We'll see. So I got a few references. This for the face and this for the general pose. Uh, I will paint it thinking of the animation, even though I'm not sure I will be able to make one. But as I will still paint it uh, keeping in mind that I want to animate it. I try to get the the silhouette first as soon as possible because it's not easy. So I need to be sure that everything is in place as soon as possible so I don't spend too much time on things that won't work. Thing like this. Oh yeah, I forgot. Before I begin, I want to thank everyone on Reddit. Reddit went on fire yesterday. Look at that. 400 upvotes. Thank you guys. I really appreciate. I think it's because it was animated. I don't know. You guys tell me. If you want more animations, that's what I plan to do. I don't know if I will, if I will be able to animate every day, but I will try as much as possible. Mm, let's see. I want to try and make it uh, as cute as possible. Thing like this. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, it's not going to be easy. I, I'm, a, I'm a bit scared by this. I shouldn't be. I should be more confident. But, I don't know. I can't help but be scared. Animals are really tough to draw. For now, it's okay. I think it's working. Uh, let's see. Uh, another thing that's hard, you know, it's already hard because it's an animal, right? And animals are very hard to paint. But another thing that's making in this hard is the fact that, give me a second, the fact that I will need to paint patterns on it and it's a uh, very low resolution so <laughs> that's gonna be tough. But let's be brave and let make this let's make this work. I will create patterns as bold as possible. I will I would like to try and get the eyes further apart so I can place some details here.
and I will indicate lighting and shadow with hmm I will cheat a little bit and create a pattern around the neck also what I will do with the patterns it is define the, the volume because you see if this is a cylinder a pattern would look something like this and it's helping me define the volume right actually let's keep that uh, so then I can try and bring this back here to define my shadow and I don't know this should be in the, in the dark I guess I will need a lot of light otherwise it will look a bit odd I think so I will need quite some uh, let's see I'm looking at it on the screencast because it's smaller I got two perspectives in one one look all right I think this will work I'm starting to gain confidence yay it's, it, it always takes some time to be confident with my my paintings I'm always doubting but in the end uh, I will, it always turns out okay so Right, let's keep this for now. I will come back to that probably, especially if I animate it. The legs will be tough, so I'll keep them for a moment where I'm much, conf much more confident than now. All right, where can I add? I need to add patterns here and there, like maybe here. This is more graphic design, painting patterns on a, an object. That's graphic design. I don't want it to look like a bee. I don't want everything to be like a series of lines. As if, if, if it was a flat thing, I want to avoid having something like this. You know what I mean? I want to try and get things like one more movement in it, something like this. That's what I'm trying to do, but doing it, doing that plus focusing on the patterns, well, on the volume, it's tough, man. Something like this, maybe I need to cut at it, cut on it like this. I think I've got too much stripes, too many stripes. Let's keep it more subtle like this and maybe bring that one further back so it's not too geometric like this. Yeah, I like it. I'm being attacked by a mosquito. Uh, I don't like this part. What can I do about it? Yeah, that's better, I guess. All right, let's keep it for now. And let's worry on the tough part, the legs. I will use this as my reference. I'll do it on another layer so I can modify it easily.
so it's going backwards like this and then it's it gets thinner ooh that's not pretty <laughs> let's see first i think it's too long so let's cut this and one pixel here also maybe try let's try and make it a little bit stylized with a big dot for the knee Mosquito needs to go. It doesn't read very well because of the stripes, right? So maybe I should get rid of it, of the stripes, I mean, and create my volume. Something like this. This is okay. And then maybe later I will be able to come back and add some stripes. Or maybe just some dots, you know, something like, uh, like this. Yeah, I don't know. Before I move on to the next leg, I want to get some more lighting going on here. It's too bright. By getting a second tone, it helps me define it a little bit better. And I can use it here. Like so. Maybe this needs to go a bit lower like this so I can come back here and here. I don't know, this, the cute factor is there, I think. That's, that's already something, right? Let's try and bring that leg further to right oh yeah I forgot I was on a new layer which is good because I don't have to repaint what I just moved but a lot of details were added that weren't legs all right so I will use this color for the back leg I kind of want to cheat and do it like it is here Because I, legs are hard to make. Jesus. Legs are hard to make, so maybe I should cheat a little bit and... Yeah, let's try that. So I can paint the legs just with one extra pixel. Something like this. And it adds to the cute factor, I think. I'm just <laughs> finding an excuse to, to be lazy right here. <laughs> it makes it cuter, so I'll use it, right? <laughs> I'll try to separate them a little bit, but... Yeah, that works. All right. Since this is working, I will flatten it and create a new layer for the, the other leg. So let's flatten and create a new layer.
missed it. All right, so same thing here, but this leg is slightly different actually. It start broader. And then let's place the oh, all right I'm already I'm already at the at the bottom. Um, let's see. That's not gonna be easy I think. <laughs> That's not really pre not really pretty, right? I think if I cut on it here can it can work. Not very happy with this leg. Yeah, that's working. So this is, I'm imagining this as a sphere on top of the rest. So I should get this kind of shading right here. You see? And then I'll stay. I'll keep with. I'll keep the graphic thing that I had. That like using a big uh, square for the knee. Something like this maybe, and I will use the same trick here. Or maybe not. Maybe I can try something a little bit different. Yeah, that's probably helping. I'm trying to put the pattern. I'm cheating here. I'm putting the pattern where I'm not very confident with either the shading or the anatomy or whatever. I'm shameless. If I can use a trick, I do it. I don't know. There's a lot of noise around the legs, right? Let's try and get rid of all the stripes on the legs and see if I can make it work. Hmm. Maybe if I just let's flatten it, it's working enough well enough. Maybe if I prolong this and same here. I think I like it. Not very happy with the legs overall, but I don't know if I can fix it. Maybe trying to be a bit less If I look at this, there's a definite line that's going diagonally like this, same for these legs, and I don't really have that here. The, leg, the legs look like they are bent on my picture, they don't here. So I need to fix that. It, this one is working okay, maybe I should push it further. Yeah, that's probably it, that's probably it, but... Um, I'm more worried about this one on, in the front. Let's see. I will try and bring it further back. Mm. 
Yeah, I guess it's uh, better. Um, trying to look at uh, references. If I can see legs in another angle, maybe. this and then um, this leg is is uh, thinner it's okay but maybe I need to bring the like the the shoulder I, I guess higher let's try that patterns are are breaking I know what it is I know it's simply the patterns that are breaking the volume but I need them I can't stop if I stop this pattern here it looks odd but if I make it pass on top it's looking a bit it's distracting from the anatomy I'm trying different things here oh yeah I'm on another layer Yeah, maybe that helps a little bit. Not sure about the lighting though. It's all right. What's the time? 20 minutes. So I think I should fix a few things really quickly, like getting the patterns to work, something, and then try some animation. But the animation. <laughs> You see how I'm struggling already, so the animation will be very simple. Let's see if I can move the face of well, the head and uh, get something cuter. I don't know what's best. This is what I had. Maybe I should do this and lift it up a little bit. So ah, I don't like the legs. If I animate it, I won't move the legs much, I think, because they're too hard to paint. But I really don't like it. These looks like they look like they are clearly from the side, and these look like they are from from the front slightly. So maybe I should move this leg. Maybe more like this. One second. I picked the wrong color. compare yeah I guess it's better it's cute but uh, it would be cuter with uh, thicker legs I think I will duplicate it and try things on this one and try and and exaggerate the thickness of the legs on both sides
Yeah, I think it's better, right? It will help with the volume and it will allow, it will make some room for um, for patterns. So I think that's what I should do. needs uh, yeah I think it's better not very happy with this one but overall it's better like this yeah let's get rid of the other one and let's see what I can do about this yeah I like that Let's try and add some patterns. I really don't like small patterns now that I've got uh, big patterns are here, you know, the lines here are very thick and if I add thin ones on the leg doesn't look good So this works and here let's try this yeah that's working all right uh, yeah it's except one little detail is I'm losing the definition of the of the tail because of this pattern if this if this works then I'm good Not really. All right, that's better. So I've got a cute little animal. I managed to do it in 27 minutes, 28. So let's try and animate this. I don't, I can't promise anything. Okay, what I can try is very simple, all right? Uh, and maybe have, it, have him blink, then lower his neck to chew some grass, then come back and maybe chew it. Can exaggerate the movement. Yeah. I think that will work if I do that. Something bugs me with the tail, but I think it's better, oops. Like this or this. Yeah, like this. All right. Uh, let's try something with the face. So the keyframes will be this, and he will shoot in this pose. He will start in this pose, blink, then he will have another pose where the, the muzzle is on the ground, and then back to this pose, and he choose. Alright? So let's, let's create the other keyframe. And I will, I will be crude with this. and. Uh, See if I can get away with that, but I don't think I can. It's <laughs> looking silly. <laughs> so that won't work. I need to repaint the face in another pose. Or maybe try... Sometimes I, I try to rotate it. 
and see what it looks like if I can still have something that works it's distorting a lot right but sometimes on one specific angle you've got something that kind of works but I think I should repaint it so I will bring this here so I got a reference and I don't need to switch frame and I will recreate that as quick as possible here and the muzzle will be I need a reference for this uh, I need well I got it I shouldn't do that should create a new one So I've got a few references here. Let's get rid of that one. Can you see it on? Yeah, you can see it. All right, so I'm going to use that. I'm, I'm focusing on this one specifically. It's one, two, three, four by five. One, two, three, four. Something like that. All right, I got it. Then the eye is here. Maybe a closed eyes. Forgot to change the timing. I will do it now that I think about it. Uh, I'm not sure this will work. There's a problem of perspective here. It's a bit conflicting. But let's see. So a lot of shadow on this since it's facing down. So the neck will be something like, uh, where's my reference? And now I realize that it's too, too far from the body. Alright, so I will add this, which will help me define the volume. It should go all the way up. It's not arriving in the right spot, it should be here. The eye is not in the right place, I think. I'm starting to get silence. <laughs> That's because I'm focusing on what I'm doing. It's not an easy task. It's not working.
Let's see. I'm almost there. This needs to overlap. It's kind of working, but uh, it looks like the neck is really extending too much, right? So I need to figure out what to do with that. This better. Maybe I need to cut on this. Maybe not. But what I can do is bring this back down. One pixel is enough. I don't know how to solve that problem. I made a design that has a very short neck. So now when he goes down, it probably needs to cover the legs the legs much much more like it needs to go down like this. Really I need to exaggerate it. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Let's clean it up. Then I need a longer muzzle. Once, once the keyframes are there, it's going to be much easier. So the I want to represent the years and use them to indicate that. I want to indicate the fact that it is leaning forward. It looks much less like a zebra here. It looks a bit like a dog or something. But I don't think I should worry too much about it. I'm looking, I'm trying to see if I can keep the white eyes or if I need to cut it. But I need to cut it. Alright, so let's bring some definition to, to this. Like there should be a lot of light on it. it wider maybe it's 
nice. It's much less recognizable, so I will try and work on that. I want to make sure we recognize the character because I'm treating it like a character, right? And the eyes are... I don't like how they work right now. Maybe like this. He look he looks sad. Poor animal. Let's see if I can I wanna try and get the rest of the body to move slightly. But first, let, let's add the, the shadow that I lost. I want to make sure they don't look the exact same. The back, I want it to change. So maybe lean back slightly. Let's try that. Like this. Checking the clock, 40 minutes, nice. Uh, I've got a dot here, I don't know where it comes from. Oh, this, this is it, so I need to get rid of that. And I guess I can have this go further back all right so I've got my two keyframes and uh, the in-betweens are going to be difficult because I cannot make it very fast I need to make it slow and to be slow I need to add a lot of frames so first I will make it blink or just eat and blink. I will work on the eating animation first. So I've got this. I want it to move like this. It's not easy to animate, but uh, I want to make it work. So I need an extra frame here. I don't mind adding a lot of frames because they aren't very complicated to make these. Yeah, all right, I've got the chewing going on, it's working. Uh, I will duplicate everything once and add a blink. So I need to duplicate every single one of them. 
I will, end up, I will end up with a lot of frames probably, but subtle animations require a lot of anim a lot of frames. It's okay. All right. Second one. Third one. How many did I create? Five. Mm, then five. Let's see what I have. All right, I want to blink. Oh, no, wait a minute. I will need a blink before I move. Because as, as I explained yesterday, when you move your, your head, you blink. So you don't see all the blurriness when you move your, your face quickly, your, or your eyes quickly. It's a, a reaction. It's actually quite hard to force yourself not to do it. And it's, uh, it makes you dizzy a little bit. You can try. Uh, so I, I was thinking maybe I could add a blink during the, the chewing, but now maybe I should keep it for the movement. And I will do that now. Uh, it, it's, let me see. I want, I want it to chew three times. And I think I will still duplicate the, 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 the frames so I can modify them slightly, like animate the, um, the tail swaying like this, something like that. So let's duplicate everything once more. So I've got three loops. If it was an animation for a game, Wait, I shouldn't talk, I should worry about what I'm doing. Two, two, three. Let me focus. Four. Wait, what? Yeah, that's correct. Five, and it's the last one. Yeah, five. All right, so if it was an animation for a game, I might reuse the frames. But here I can do whatever I want. All right, this is the tough part. Now I need to uh, get, make the animation for the, the lowering the head and it's very hard to make. It would be easy if it was just a, a quick animation like in a flash, but I cannot do that. I need it to be cute. All right, I'm gathering my strength. <laughs> Let's do this. So first he will lift his head like in anticipation. So I will uh, duplicate this frame and lift the head in anticipation. Oh. Yeah, okay. It's not the first frame. I've got this down here, but I don't care. Actually, I will erase it. So I need to lift this up. Maybe like this. I, I don't. I need to make sure I don't exaggerate that. So now I need, first I will use this one. How many frames do you think I need to go from there? to the bottom. I think I need a lot of them. Oh man. Okay, let's try. I will start by, you know, I need to go from this 
do this. So for the first part of the animation, I will duplicate this. And for the last part, I will duplicate this and go back. All right, so let's say two pixels at a time. I will lower two pixels at a time. So that's the standard pose. And then, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need roughly 10, 10 pixels. So if I go two by two, that's five frames. And then on this one, you will blink. The arc will be kind of tough and bring it further to the front, like so, and paint back the details. I should get rid of this, it will be annoying. I don't think I need so many frames actually. So I will try to use as few as possible. So I will already duplicate this one and go back. Oops, I'm wrong button. All right, this. So I'm going from this to there, so I need to lift it up quite a bit. Wrong frame. How does this look? The arc is not right. I'm looking at the, the way, the line that is traced by the movement of the face. And it's not pretty, so. I think I need to bring the body back to towards the front. If you remember, I I pushed it back earlier, so that will help a little bit. And then I should paint the detail and see if I need to modify it after I painted the detail. Because the detail, the neck is influencing the arc that I'm after. I think it's simply a matter of changing the angle of the face. Like if I do this, it will help already. See what I got. It's 
working okay let's increase the length of this one or the duration of this one just to see how it looks it's okay I don't think I need to modify it one thing that I should do is make this one blink already or maybe start the blink let's see All right, I think I have enough. So I will add a bounce to the to the body. So I need to overshoot. Let's duplicate, get back and overshoot. Long layer. Thank you Photoshop. For being so complicated Maybe bounce it. Back, forward. Yeah, let's try bounce. So on this one, I will go back. I don't think I should bounce it because it's already unless I know what to do the problem here is I'm jumping to two pixels so that's two pixels to the left and then two pixels to the two pixels to the right and then two pixels to the right to the left and I should just use this in between actually so uh, I think if I use this between these two so here between these two and between these two because this is quite a jump see This one is okay, but this is too much. So I will try and duplicate this one and bring it back here and see how it looks. Yeah, it's nice. So now I can bounce the, the tail. Duplicate this. Oh, 
Let's see what we have. I would sway the tail here because right now something bugs me it's uh, I've got a lot of body movement at the end and nothing during this part of the, of the animation so let's see you see it's moving and then it's very static and then moving then static then moving Yeah, I think if I just animate the, if I make the, the tail just sway like this, it's enough. And let's do it bravely, not thinking too much about it. I would just go forward, like on this, it's going to be here. I'll make it quick because I don't want to spend uh, too much time on this part of the animation. And then here it'd be higher. I don't know if you guys hear my phone ring. Those are Twitter not notification. It's funny that it's quite meta, right? You hear the notification before I post. At some point, the tail will almost disappear, I guess. Like here, nothing for a while, which is good. Wait, I should probably keep at least a little bit. So, how many frame will I need? Well, will I need to animate? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll try and make it bounce, but I'm not sure it will look good. Let's see. Yeah, it's okay. And then here. Uh, yeah. And I would keep animating as if this part wasn't animating. I think uh, the animals can sway their tails like you blink with, yeah, like you blink. They don't think about it. I don't think an animal would stop swaying in their tail to to move. But I could be wrong. It's just how I'm going to animate this. sure that one was working. Let's lift it up. And 
then going, coming back down. See how it looks. It's okay. I'm still not very happy with the the bounce of the body because it looks. I need to make some uh, sub pixel animation there because it's not very smooth. This is too much, so I need to bring this back. and try some sub pixel animation very subtle but hmm. let's see how it looks much better, smoother. It's almost done. One hour and seven minutes. It's okay. Uh, after this, I uh, just want to bring one of these frames back, like this one. The lifting of the head will be faster, I think. Yeah. And actually, I think should lift back up. Unless, uh, wait a minute. Trying to bring some animation to the muzzle to indicate that it's chewing. Like maybe here I can bring back the shadow underneath. But I'm not sure that's correct. Yeah, I'm losing here. It's not right. Look. So this is not, not right either. So I should leave it as it is. And I think that this should be the lifting of, I think the lifting of the head is too, coming too late. Maybe I should just get rid of this one. Let's see how, how it looks if I just erase this. No, I want to keep it. But what I will do is bring this copy it paste it here and erase that
and then this one actually should probably be nah it's okay maybe I need to get rid of that one then yeah and what I will do is duplicate the last one to create some bounce at the end and bounce it I think bounce to the animation is always an easy thing to do and it brings a lot of life to it so always do it so you see now it will bounce before going back to this one frame before it lifts back up I'm not sure it's really reading as chewing down here should probably lower the entire head this all right so there's something wrong with the tail I will continue the movement from there. Maybe this is working already. Yeah. Except towards the end. I don't think it, it should go back there. It should just do this, then that, and then that. That should work. There's the small pose. Yeah, because these two have, are the same. I need to cheat a little bit. It should work. Maybe if I simply modify this one, it will help me a little bit. Like just something simple like that. Yeah, all right, so. This, um, 
there's a pop here here I don't like it I think this frame should go back to this position roughly so let's select that or wait a minute I don't know uh, let's push it back wrong layer yeah the pop is gone modify it slightly here it's a detail but I would like to get this to go up probably on this one too on this one on this one Yeah, I think I'm done. Oh, you know what? <laughs> it's not centered. That's a pain in the ass because <laughs> I gotta modify all my frames if I wanna center it. So I will do that after, the v after I'm done because it's a bit tedious. I might just crop the, the picture, use the crop tool to center it. All right, so do I see anything that I want to change? Maybe, maybe I want, I don't know, I'm, I'm under the impression that this area is a bit static during the chewing. Maybe when I can, I can make something very subtle, like when the jaw is open, when the jaw is closed, like here, I do this. Then it's opened, closed. Not sure that's going to work, right? But open close let's see I don't know it's a bit brutal right maybe I can change the color better sub pixel animation last detail
All right, I should keep it as it is. One hour 20. So I managed to make another animation, yay. And it wasn't, it wasn't easy because animals are very tough to make. But in the end, it turns out okay. And it's cute, the animation is nice. A lot of, of small details in it. So I kind of like it. I hope you like it too. Uh, well, if you have any question, as usual, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, either here in the comments or on your social media of choice, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.